Well, it seems like the time of year when Apple sheep open up their wallets ready to decant their hard-earned money into Apple's eager lap has come again. You see, Apple's developer conference just came and went, and with it we had the announcement of several new products, the most notable among them being the Apple Vision Pro, an expensive VR or mixed reality headset. I suppose as a tech YouTuber, I'm contractually obligated to cover the thing. So, here we go. What's particularly curious about this headset is that it isn't being sold as a gaming device like other VR headsets usually are. Instead, it's being sold as a personal computer and a lifestyle accessory, effectively making it a face-mounted iPad. Everyone seems to think that this device is going to be so revolutionary that it can be compared to the original iPhone. They say that although it's expensive and out of reach for most people now, in the future absolutely everyone will have one. Personally, I hope that this device fails miserably. You might wonder why I'm so bitter. The reason is really that I believe the Apple Vision Pro is incredibly dangerous and harmful to people's mental and physical health, and will, in the long run, be a huge detriment to society. Pick up your anarcho-primitivist textbooks, because in today's video, we are going full Luddite. First, let's talk about the physical health effects of using the Apple Vision Pro. Besides a sore neck, that is. Well, you know how your mum used to tell you not to sit too close to the TV because it could cause you to get square eyes? Well, VR is basically sitting as close to the TV as possible in a dark environment. It's basically a perfect recipe for eye strain. The worst part about the Apple Vision Pro is that it's supposed to be used as a general purpose computer. So instead of just wearing it for 30 minutes to play some Beat Saber or whatever, there's theoretically no limit to the amount of time that you'll spend wearing it. According to a BBC article, some developers who have spent hours a day in VR have reported significant damage to their eyesight. So, at best, this is a device that will cause some nasty temporary eye strain, and at worst, it might ruin your vision. Clearly, it isn't worth taking that risk, especially given the mental health effects that we're going to talk about now. Smartphones are extremely invasive devices. We've covered that much on the channel so far. We take them everywhere with us and pull them out to mindlessly scroll whenever we get a free moment. But at the very least, they're confined to a little box in our pocket. The Apple Vision Pro does not have this limitation. It's essentially a smartphone occupying your entire field of view at all times. Just imagine it. Facebook notifications on your walls, Snapchat on your ceiling, lousy phone games on the floor. Sounds like the stuff of a Luddite bad acid trip. Any mental health effect that smartphones have will be far more pronounced in VR. With Apple Vision Pro, there is literally no escaping the virtual world and all of its vices. Now, you won't even have to reach into your pocket to get a dopamine hit you'll be constantly getting dopamine drip-fed to you by distractions all over your field of view. All of this is made far worse by the fact that the Apple Vision Pro can only get smaller. Sure, it might be a bulky headset that can only be worn for a few hours at a time now, but imagine what it'll be like in the future. It'll probably be no bigger than a pair of glasses that you can slip on in the morning and take off at night. I assume that Apple is banking on this exact fact, which brings me on to the next topic of discussion, the societal damage that will surely be caused by Apple Vision. As history has shown us, whenever an invention becomes popular enough, everyone who doesn't already use it is essentially forced to do so. The car, the internet, and the smartphone, these are all examples of this phenomenon. Let me ask you, do you really want to live in a future where you need to strap a box onto your head just to perform everyday tasks? Do you really want to live in a world where your friends, family and work colleagues expect you to constantly have a box strapped to your face so they can connect with you at all times? 
Do you really want to replace social interaction with your friends in real life with interaction in a virtual world using unhealthy, idealized avatars? I'm going to assume that the answers to those questions is a definite no, but that is the future that we're heading towards. And that doesn't even account for all the surveillance that a VR device could lead to. In the future where everyone is wearing Apple Vision devices most of the day, Apple will have unlimited access to the world around every single person. That is extremely scary and a marketeer's dream. Plus, these devices have the potential to be hacked, allowing a hacker to see every moment of your life. It all sounds too much like a real-life version of The Truman Show. Plus, if everyone has access to an instant dopamine hit visible in their field of view, how can anyone be expected to get any work done? Resisting smartphones is hard enough, quite frankly. So in conclusion, I believe that the Apple Vision Pro is a device that will cause its users great mental and physical harm. Furthermore, I believe that in the long run, this device will damage society and drag us all further into the Matrix-style dystopia that we seem to be creating for ourselves. Personally, I'm going to try and avoid this style of device for as long as possible. I have no problem with VR for gaming, but the second that you make it a lifestyle device, I think it's going too far. I guess I've gone from yesterday's tech enthusiast to tomorrow's Luddite. With that said though, those are my thoughts. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.